What's up guys, Brad here from Piney Grove and I'm headed back to our back one acre field to check to see if my non-electric 3D deer fence worked. And just for perspective, behind me is most of the things we've built up, our shed, our house, driveway, all that stuff is what we call the front of our property. And as I walk down this path, this takes you to the back of our property. And as you can tell by the look on my face, I think our non-electric 3D fence did work. So as we come here to the back of the property, we have this one acre field. And in a previous video, I put up this non-electric 3D fence. And what I have is some twine here, about 18 inches tall with some flagging so it can be seen. And then up here on this side, I have about four feet tall or so, another line. But the idea is that that lower fence, the deer will come up to it and then they can definitely jump it. They can jump, you know, six foot tall, but then they see that other fence three feet away and that messes with their depth perception, I guess. And they feel like they can't leap it. But if you look at it, it's only three foot apart and the lower one's 18 and that one's 48 inches. They just have to jump over this lower one and either go under the higher one or jump them all together. But for some reason, they feel they can't do it and it's effective in keeping deer out of a field that you either want um, to grow some cash crops or something, or like us, we want these soybeans to get about two feet tall and then we'll take down the fence and allow the deer to eat it. The reason for these eagle soybeans is to transfer nutrients from the ground into the body of the deer herd. We, we're trying to feed the wildlife, we're trying to feed the soil, and we're experimenting with these eagle beans. We've grown them before on a different property but we've never grown them out here at Piney Grove. Right there in that corner, it's a, it's a corridor for deer. And I do not see a single deer track coming into this field. And I don't think I see a single soybean that's been nipped off. And it's pretty obvious when soybeans get like their sixth leaf, deer like to take those top couple of leaves off and leave the stem. And an ordinary soybean, a regular uh, agricultural soybean can't handle that, it'll die. But these eagle soybeans are resistant to that nipping, or at least they'll regenerate after being nipped, but they'll only take so much. So you really need to let them get up to about 18 inches tall or so. Maybe four, maybe six weeks, we should be able to take down this fence and let the deer get in here and start munching away. I've known about this concept of 3D deer fencing for a long time, but the fencing is generally energized. It's got an electric fence charger. And the idea is that they hit this lower wire back here and they get a little jolt or a little shock and then they never come back again. But I figured that the shock wasn't as important as messing with their depth perceptions. So we didn't spend the money to buy a fence that's energized. We will in the future, but for now, I, I wanted to try a non-energized fence and I'm really, really pleased with the results so far. We'll keep you updated. This is week two. We'll do weekly updates maybe with short videos or pictures out on our Facebook page, but uh, so far, I'm really, really impressed. So this is not a sponsored video, but Coastal Seeds did provide us the Eagle soybean seeds for this field. So we did a planning video for them. But this update right here, you can see that we're in our sixth leaf. Well, there's two, four. We're in our four leaf stage and we're getting ready to go into our six leaf stage of these soybeans. And some of these popped up taller than the others because they had less dirt over top of them. So some of, them, some of the seeds were deeper, so they took a little longer to come up. When we opened up the video, I wasn't making that up. I was really a little bit anxious that I'd come in here and see a whole bunch of nipped off beans. Now this fence won't keep out rabbits, but I don't see where rabbits are doing a lot of damage. We do have quite a few rabbits out here on the property. Now, one huge benefit of Eagle soybeans is that they're glyphosate resistant and glyphosate is the main ingredient in Roundup. It might be the only ingredient in Roundup. These beans are resistant to that. Actually, they're, they're more than resistant. You can directly spray these beans with Roundup and it won't affect them. So that way we can keep this field clean so that the only thing, the nutrients in the soil are feeding are the soybeans and not feeding weeds or grasses. I come up here to where the soil has more moisture here at the top of the hill and the beans are looking really good up here. 
but we've got an exclusion cage back there and we've got three in the property. And what that will show is once they start coming in here and browsing, uh, that'll show unbrowsed beans. So it'll show the full potential of the field if uh, wildlife wasn't in your field eating, eating the leaves. One last tidbit about these Eagle Ford soybeans is that I picked what's called the wildlife managers mix. So there's actually three different type of soybeans in this mix. And I'll flash on the screen what the bag said, but there's one that grows tall. I think they're called large lad. And then there's one that's more of a viney bean that grows along the ground. And then it'll climb up the stalks of the large lad. And I forget what the third one is, but by having three different varieties out here, that gives us a better chance of this field, you know, being successful and producing lots of forage for the deer. A little tidbit about deer is that it takes one acre of good forage to sustain a single deer. So this is a one acre field. So if you look at all this greenery out here, if one deer were to eat all this greenery, then that's all the food that they would need to get the nutrients in their body. Now, obviously there's gonna be a lot more than one deer out here in this field. We've had as many as 18 on our 20 acre property. But I would say on a daily basis, there's probably six deer that visit the property, does in, in either fawns or last year's fawns. But that's gonna do it for today's video. We sure appreciate you watching. If you're looking for seeds, either for food pots or just general seeds for your farm, please check out Coastal Seeds. They have a great variety and a great selection out there. And Derek would be happy to take care of you. But that's all I've got. So until the next one, y'all take care out there. And remember, life's short, tractor hard.